in Gaza's cash-based wartime economy, where the drawing money can be a matter of life and death. Israel's military has destroyed the vast majority of banks across Gaza, according to the Palestinian Monetary Authority. At these makeshift ATMs, people now have to pay high commissions to access their own money. The situation is very difficult. If you need to get your salary or do any transaction, you'd be charged a fee or a percentage. Cash sellers also say banknotes are in short supply, and those remaining are increasingly worn out. This is a big problem for us. All cash notes, all denominations are damaged and we are unable to do business. We need a bank to open and help us by collecting these currency notes and rid us of this problem. People are unhappy with us. We are not the cause of this problem. The need for hard currency has soared since Israel's May offensive into Rafah that cut off tens of thousands of Palestinians from aid and forced them to evacuate to central Gaza. At the same time, prices for basic items keep rising after each escalation in the fighting. People are suffering a lot. Market prices are incredibly high and people don't have income to buy. Shop owners don't care. They increase and decrease prices at their will. In the years before the war, the Strip's economy had begun to improve despite the multi-pronged Israeli blockade. Now, any hope of financial recovery is far from sight. But Israeli restrictions have prevented the Palestinian Monetary Authority, based in Ramallah, from sending new cash into the Strip, like it used to. And Israel's far-right finance minister, Bezalel Smutrich, has threatened further banking restrictions that could exacerbate the problem. After almost 11 months of war, there are no ATMs functioning in the entire Gaza Strip. The expansion of Israeli attacks means that banks and ATMs have been either destroyed, chopped down, or located in areas that are currently active military zones, cutting off tens of thousands of Palestinians in need of humanitarian support of another source of aid. Tariq Abazoum, Al Jazeera, Dar al Balah, Palestine. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.